Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Let's get into today's um, affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I am open and receptive to the miracles that are here for me. I am open and receptive to the miracles that are here for me. I am open and receptive to the miracles that are here for me. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. <laughs> Breathe out. <laughs> you know, we just be freestyling here on Beanie TV. We, we just be doing what we do and we do it well. Um, thank you guys for tuning into another episode. I cherish you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for all of the comments, the sharing, the 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 posting. I love y'all. I'm so excited to just like be able to talk about what we be talking about. So today I want to talk to you guys about why I do not eat meat. February will be one year since I have decided to put down the meat protein. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Um... So, February of 2017, I watched a documentary before What the Health. There was a documentary and they made it abundantly clear that we should not be taking in dead energy. Now, I have no idea what this documentary is called. If I saw the thumbnail, I wouldn't even know, so I'm so sorry. I have no idea what the documentary was, but something went off and I was like oh no and you know we're totally into energy and vibes and all of that stuff and I was like why if I don't want to be around someone's negative energy why would I want to consume negative energy why would I want to consume death why would I want to consume trauma and when you think about it these cows these chickens these fish when they are dying whether it's halal or not like just because you pray over an animal or pray before you kill something doesn't mean that that thing did not feel fear. So in that documentary, it just clicked for me and it just made sense. This is not something that I want to take on in my body. And you know, we're all becoming a more conscious species. We're entering into so much information that you cannot not know you cannot not know so of course when what the health came out like and let me just give you a brief history like before this i'm i'm a first generation Ghanaian. so i grew up on corned beef stew goat meat eating chicken feet chicken feet y'all like the claws of the feet of the chicken eating it like it was nothing i grew up eating all meat all of the time so when i was younger I would have such bad stomach pains and I would think that every time I had like, I, every time I have to go poop, I would have such bad stomach pains and I thought something was wrong with my uterus. But really I was constipated. So when I went to college, there were people there who were vegetarians and I was like, well you have a choice, you don't, you don't have to eat meat. So I started to not eat meat. Unfortunately, what I was doing was I was eating macaroni and cheese and potato salad and like carbs. So when you don't educate yourself, you end up eating all carbs, stuffing yourself with carbs. And then I gained so much weight. My belly was so big, y'all. It was disgusting. So after college, and I even had this really weird bout of like, um, taking laxative teas, trying to lose weight, doing the cabbage soup diet, like just, all. I definitely would love to be able to talk about the things that I've put my body through as far as like body image issues and stuff like that but another video another time so when I moved to LA you know LA is like the home of healthy eating and acai bowls and yoga studios and like and hiking and I was like okay like this fits in with my with what I want to how I want my life to feel and how I want to feel so I really would just like stop eating meat and then I would become a pescatarian and then I would become a flexitarian and ate whatever I want especially if we were going on vacation like what no like so um in February of last year after that documentary I was like okay no no I'm not doing this I'm not taking in dead energy I am not doing this to myself so I stopped I stopped eating chicken, I stopped eating goat meat, I stopped eating um, eggs, I don't eat eggs anymore. I stopped eating everything that comes from the um, animal except 
I will still have ice cream from cows. I am I also have cheese. So I'm not vegan. I'm vegetarian. And if something if the ingredient has egg in it, I will still have that product. I'm just not going to go out and buy meat. I'm not going to order it on the menu, but I still consume cheeses. So, um, cuz that's a, that's a little hard. That's a little harder to get rid of cheese and ice cream and 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 chocolate. No, I not today. Not today. That's not happening for me today. But I am proud of myself for doing it for one year. It, they say it takes 66 days to create an, an actual firm habit. 66 days. So to be able to do it for 365, I'm super proud of myself. And this is what my body wants, y'all. I have never felt better. I have never looked better. Like your girl is just like feeling good, feeling great. How are you? You know, like this is what my body wants. We have to listen to our bodies. What does your body want? I took meat out and I saw that I wasn't getting constipated. I took meat out. I put, I brought in quinoa. I brought in grains. I brought in beans and, and, and kales and greens and smoothies, things that I didn't have as a child. Growing up, just a single parent, my mom, like, we would just eat Chinese and pizza and KFC and like, trust me when I say, and McRibs, trust me when I say, I don't know what's going on, but I've been missing meat lately. I will all of a sudden get the taste of like some African food in my mouth. I'll get the taste of barbecue chicken in my mouth. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not giving in, no way for me, it's the energy. I can't, I can't do it, can't do it. So when What The Health came out, my brother, he just went cold, stone, Steve Austin, vegan. Like he's been going since July. And again, y'all, his he's happy, he's clear, his body, like he's, he's, he's working out, his body is gaining muscle. He's, I mean, veganism is a beautiful thing on my brother. I'm still eating my milks and my cheeses. So uh, going back to the vitamins, so here are some vitamins that I take. So my favorite website to get my vitamins from is Puritan's Pride. Um, they're great because when you buy from them, it's always like buy two, get two free. So then you're never gonna be out of vitamins and it's a great price point. So this is the high potency, slow release iron. Um, these um, vegetable, <laughs> These vitamins are also vegetarian. So I take these, I take, so I take my iron, and then I also take B propolis extract. It's great for killing bacteria, lowering blood pressure, treats bone diseases, treats allergies, which is like super important. It's like after you take B propolis, B propolis, and then you burp, you can taste it. It's a very raw, green, I don't know, but I, I like taking my B propolis. I also take B12, which is the number one like vitamin that you can, or nutrient that you can find in meats. So um, I take B, B12, but I know that there's a difference between regular B12 and B12 that will actually get through the bloodstream. So do your own research. I have to do mine. I ran out of my B12, so I do have to order more, but I know that I have to order one that's actually going to um, that my di that our digestive system is going to absorb fully. Um, I also take vitamin D, you know, like even though it's sunny in California, I'm not in the sun like that. I'm walking to the bus stop, I'm on the bus, and then I go into um, work, and then I come out of work and it's dark. So I'm not really in the sun like that, so I do take my vitamin D. Um, and that's about it for the vitamins that I take right now. Oh, I take um, biotin, which is great for nails, hair, and skin. I also, yeah, I take biotin. Um, and that's it for right now. So I encourage you, if you do not eat meat, please guys, like, this is our body, this is our temple. Yes, you've taken out meat. Yes, your body does not need, like, the meat and the milks and how terrible those are for you, but you still gotta take your vitamins. You still gotta, like, bring that nutrients back into your body. So, um, let me know why you don't eat meat, why you're thinking about it, what is stopping you from taking meat out. And can I tell you how now that I don't really eat meat and how I live alone, or I live, you know, by myself, that I 
I am cooking more and I'm finding this happiness in cooking that I was not cooking in New Jersey. I live with my mom and my grandma, so they were cooking. Thanksgiving, they were cooking. So I'm learning how to cook and I love that because one day I'm going to have a family, one day I'm going to have a home and I'm going to have to entertain guests and my guests cannot be eating crackers and cheese. No, we have to have the quinoa and the kale, okay? Um, so yeah, not eating meat has allowed me to just get into some new ways of eating and living and it really is a lifestyle change when you stop eating meat so i'm proud of myself for making it for one year i'm going to continue to not eat meat i'm not giving in now that is for now things always change like i've i've met veg people that were vegetarians for 10 years and decided to just like get into a hot dog you know and things change we're not we're not stuck to one way we don't have to be permanent but i know what my body wants right now so again in the comments below tell me what is stopping you from eating meat why don't you eat meat and um i will see you guys next video i thank you guys for subscribing loving i love y'all i'm giving all y'all the light and love and strength and encouragement to go ahead and release meat and milk and all of that unless it's ice cream or cheese from your diet i thank you guys see you guys next time peace